Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of V Rising. Um, if you guys watched the last episode, um, we had some issues with some frames and some FPS, and it was a lot of to do with the, some of the bears. So ultimately what I did is I just turned down my settings a little bit, and that significantly has improved um, how much load is on my CPU. And honestly, I don't really notice much of a difference, to be completely honest with you. So that's pretty good. Um, now if it was first person, you're seeing a lot of detail all the time, then maybe it might make a big difference, but I just changed it from high to medium and it worked out pretty good. So anyway, we're going to go and, you know, we're going to try and take out the bear, but ultimately what I figured out is, you know, I feel like there's some things that I'm missing. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we come to the blood altar here, I did not mean to push R, I meant to push F. Um, there's a lot of things that we've, we've missed, um, you know, along the way. There's all these before we even get to the ferocious bear. This person, I've actually know where they're at. They're not even that far away from my current location. I don't feel like I need the rat power right now, but you know what? Maybe we'll go and get it. There's nothing else beyond that. It just turns into a small rat blend into the environment, making it harder for enemies to detect you. Taking damage breaks the effect, obviously. So that's like kind of like the wolf right now, but I don't know if there's another ability with it because the wolf can do something special as well. I'm sure the bear can as well also. So, but uh, this one actually has a bear form. Does this one actually have? Yeah, this one has. Wait, what else did that come with? Oh, a, a rug, of course. Um, So I feel like we should go after some of these anyway. So I think we'll just start with, I don't know where these people are at. And I feel like we might have to explore for a while. But uh, I, I want this one anyway, because that allows us to break down some of the things that we get duplicated of, like the books that we have. And then we can get paper or whatever else for it. So I feel like that might be good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to track um, Lydia. And I'm going to go and find her. At least I'm assuming it's a her. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, well, I actually found her right in the middle of the path, so that's kind of cool. Come back here. Here you go. Oh, there you are. Okay. There you are. Come back here. Nice chaos move you got. Chop. Ooh. Nice, I got you. Oh, that was bad. Come here, you're mine. Oh yeah. We're gonna take your V blood and it's going to be mine. Wow, that was a huge destruction of um trees in the area. My bad, forest. Okay, well there's some more right there. Now just in case you guys are wondering where that is at, this is where I found her, which I've ran past this a couple times and I'm pretty sure I went this way. Maybe I went this way. No, I went, I've been in here cause I've, I've gotten the morning glory or morning lily for. Hmm. 
Well, then I, I don't know really what uh, what to say about that. So I guess what we could do is first of all heal up. If I go in here, oh, I can still heal. Nice. I see. What was our other ability that we got? Ooh. Let's use that. Let's try that out. Because it uses uh, launches two bolts, chaos bolts in sequence that deals 125 magic damage and inflicts chaos burn. Where let's see, what was the frost? Yeah, it's only 100% magic. So we're getting 25% more. Yes, I understand that hitting a chilled enemy freezes it for four seconds, but there's been a couple enemies that it hasn't worked on. So I feel like this might be overall kind of a better fit for me. So I think this, the double dash with the Veil of Chaos, then we've got the Chaos Volley, then we've got the Crimson um, Ages, and let's, let's try this out. I want to see what this is like. Ooh. Nice, I like this. Oh, what? Oh, yep. I am going to like this. Except for it doesn't look like it aims like where I want it to. You guys are oblivious to what's happening over here. Might as well feed on you. I mean, this is just a tiny little bandit camp anyway. Poor people didn't even stand a chance. Is there any? There's a... Get around this? Oh yeah, I can. Get the uh, gems from this. I like getting the gems just because I don't see them very often. So on the way to the bear, there is a lot of them. Is there, a, is there no chests here? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever gone to a bandit area. Not well, in a chest, maybe. Okay, well, I think it's time to head back to our our castle. Oh yeah, take, I'm definitely taking damage from carrying the silver. I wonder if I can get all the way back though. Yeah, it's actually not doing a ton of damage, so that's that's all right. I think uh, I think we'll be okay. I just can't use the wolf form currently. But we can use that. And we made it back just as the sun is about to come up anyway, so that's actually pretty cool. So there should be silver in one of these. There we go. We can actually get rid of some of that into there. We've got... Oh, just one more. I thought there was like... I was like, well, we got seven of them, but that's just the seven numbers, uh, the slot there. All right, let's uh, just throw everything into the grinder that we didn't get. I guess. All right. Well, this, never mind that, I guess. Uh, let's see. I didn't get any copper ore, I don't think, from that. But we can build the devourer. So the question is, what do we need in order to build that? Refinement, the devourer. I need a 12 planks and six copper. Um. Okay. I should definitely have that over here. Now the question is, where are the blanks? I don't really know. There they are. That is completely empty. Is there? Do I have any more copper ingots? Like just chilling somewhere? I'm always pushing R. I complete mistake. No more wood. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, I think we have a whole bunch over there, but I don't think we need it right now. 
if it will fit right here this is where i'm going to go ahead and put it oh yeah it looks like it's definitely going to i don't know which way is which like it must be that way perhaps the devourer Okay, but so we can put stuff in there now and we should be able to get some stuff back. Fantastic. It looks hungry. Mm, it wants to eat some brains too. I guess that's a zombie, not vampire, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess let's go ahead and take a look at our blood altar and see what else we got going on over here. And I guess what we could do is... I mean, there's the tomb and the fences. But this person's really close and we're like one better than they are. So if we can beat Faye Walker, then I think we might have a chance against the ferocious bear. So that's going to be really good. But just in case you guys don't know where I found her at, this is where this is where I found her at right, right up here. So I just need to make my way over here, kind of jump down into like this or well, this area. And then make my way over here and she was like right here when i walked in the first time but unfortunately it is daytime so i think we're going to maybe start heading on over there when it's a, just a little bit later well i mean it's already halfway through the sunlight time frame so maybe we can make it over there oh god oh god can we jump off there are you serious jump off the thing oh my god I got stuck. I couldn't even do the shift. That's really bad. Okay. Well, I guess we're right here. It's not like I had to travel way across the map again. That's so weird. I was pushing shift the entire time trying to get it to. I'm like, am I not pushing shift? No, clearly I am. Then I started to panic and it didn't really work. Oh, hey. Hi, tree. Oh, nice. I do want my stuff. Help that. Help the moose out, I guess. Stupid tree. That that moose. Oh, that sucks for you, tree. I didn't say you could run away from me. All right, well, whatever. I don't mind that tree, but it was kind of in my way and it was trying to attack me. Oh, yeah. Wow, two shots of that against the wolf? That's crazy. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to feed. Just to get my blood all the way up. And now it's going to be moon rising here anyway. Just a second. So yeah, if we can beat Faye Walker though. Yeah, like I said earlier, we should have a good chance at least at beating. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nobody, nope. It looks like it's darker than what it is. There we go. At least it's nighttime. Now we don't have to worry about the stupid sun. Oh, gems. Nice. Take these. Ooh, 
Look at all those fine samples of gems. Easy way of making jewelry. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just jump off right over here. Unless I get stuck again. See? Didn't get stuck that time. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Alright, we're going to use our battle axes because they are a little bit stronger than the mace. I would like to be able to upgrade my mace, but I haven't, obviously haven't found a book for it yet. I do need to do a lot more exploring, as you can see on the map, that this is really all I've ever gone to. So I need to do a little bit more exploring than what I currently have, but that is a big carcass. Fire Blossom? Oh yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're getting close. We are getting close. Now, I think they were, what, uh, 36? Alright, where are you? Yeah, you were, it was like, they were like right here when I first walked in. First time. There they are. Well, that's rude. Round two, fight! All right, so we, we definitely lost the first round. Yeah, a little bit more powerful than I was anticipating her to be. And obviously, their their little their little helpers kind of kind of suck. What? Oh god. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing first. Be gone. Ooh, almost got her. They go for so long, though. At least that's that's a little bit of fire, I guess.
Dang it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Not good. Not good at all. Oh my gosh. Can I get over here and do a little bit of healing? Is that possible? Be gone. Nope. I feel that that's not possible. Oh, that was that that was lucky. Nice. Okay, we're going to use the rock. We're, we're definitely going to use this. Where are you? Come on, that is not fair. Oh, that was kind of lucky. That was lucky. Ooh, the rocks definitely came in clutch right there. Only 24 HP left. Ooh, talk about concentrating. Oh, wow. All right, now I got to get back before the sun comes up. And I need some critters. Sorry. I wanted to drink your blood, but that's just not obviously going to work. Okay. Um, we're going to check out our skill set just a little bit. Um, a lot of fire blossoms over there, so I'm going to have to remember that fire blossoms are over there. But we have about an hour or so before the sun starts to come up, and I need something. Two shots on a deer, two shots on a wolf with the chaos volley is perhaps a little bit too much. But Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to feed on you now. Sorry, buddy. You were just in the wrong place at the right time. Okay, let's grab all of this. Let's go like that. Beautiful. Now we can actually take a look at what we got here. I'm curious. That doesn't look new. New. Ooh, Spectral Wolf. Dash towards. All right. We're going to get back to our...
our castle. We need to mend up our sword anyway, and then we can take a look at the other stuff. Made it back to the castle, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we got a special wolf. Obviously, we saw that in the battle. I did a lot of damage, but it deals 100% magic damage, inflicts fading snare, and weakens the tar target, reducing damage output by 30% for 5 seconds. Ooh, that might actually be really good with the bear. Hmm, it bounces to a nearby enemy after each hit up to two hits it doesn't deals uh 75 less damage okay um and then we've got the vial of illusion so dash towards input direction the elude nearby enemies for 2.2 seconds is that a point it doesn't look like a point that looks like an apostrophe or a comma i mean uh your next uh, primary target our attack deals 25% bonus damage, spawns an illusion, throws projectiles that deal 40% magic damage. Recast the return to start position and spawn a new illusion at your current. Interesting. That might be really good, but I think that the, the, the travel chaos one is... I don't know. I mean, if they can get hits off then that would really help i mean 40 percent more damage is great instead of just a one-time 50 percent magic damage with the explosion because you're not always guaranteed that you're going to get people within in that explosion oh well, you might get 40 percent damage a few hits right i mean it's possible so anyway uh i think this is where we're going to go ahead and probably end this episode i do need to repair my something looks like maybe this which i need copper i don't gems dust um which i know that i have that gotta find it there's that copper ingots i mean i know that i put a ton in the furnace like last episode All right, what else was I missing? And gem dust. Okay. Well, that we have to actually find. And I know I have a whole bunch of it somewhere. There we go. That works. Let's go over here. Go to the furnace. And wow, look at that. We have 100 ingots over here. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, let's go here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, repair. Put that back. Then, did we get any books? Anything worthwhile? Not really. I don't see anything new as far as being able to upgrade anything. So I guess that is what it is. So... Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We took out two targets today. Not too bad. And uh, slowly generating more abilities to either, well, more abilities. And number two, we're being able to put more stuff inside of our castle, which is absolutely fantastic. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.